quiet. This might be a night out for you. This is a career for me. Before we go any further, I just want to point out to the ladies in the room, uh, I know what you're thinking, girls, so... Ooh, finally something to look at. <laughs> but I'm sorry, but I am married, so... It'll have to be your place. I, um... <laughs> I am married, which is surprising, because uh, I'm a fat boy. I can say that I am fat. I haven't always been fat. I was born with a lazy eye and gradually it spread to the rest of my body. But I mean, I have always been used to being fat. My wife doesn't like it, but you know, then again. <laughs> I said, okay, if you, want, if you want me to lose weight, you tell me, because you know everything. You tell me, how do I do it? She said, don't eat anything fatty. I said, what, like pizza and chips? She said, no, don't eat anything fatty. <laughs> Little bit harsh. I went to the doctor recently to look after my health because I stopped smoking and I stopped drinking. And uh, it's been a hell of a week. I... Um, I went to the doctor to get a checkup, and what a waste of time that was. He's asking me stupid questions like, you know, what's the lightest you've ever been? I said, eight pound, four ounces. <laughs> he said, thank you, Dave. He said, <laughs> he said, we'll give you the full checkup. Now, I had no idea what he was talking about because I've only recently turned 50. I suddenly found out what he was talking about when I heard the snap of the rubber glove. Now, I'm not going to get into details here, but let's just say he was very thorough very thorough. He'd finished, took the glove off, he's leaving the surgery, the nurse came in, she said that thing I didn't want to hear, you know, she said, who was that guy? <laughs> Hasn't been fun. I was single for a long time actually, before I got married. I was single, actually by choice, and uh, it wasn't my choice, but <laughs> it was lady's choice that I was single. But I got married, I had to get married, I was sick of finishing my own sentences, and I had <laughs> only the gentleman clapping that one. <laughs> The other day she said to me, she said, you haven't listened to a bloody word I've said, have you? <laughs> I thought to myself, what a stupid way to start a conversation. <laughs> you know, right, really. Anyway, the kids don't like me either. Not because I'm not a good dad, but just because of what I do for a living. They think it's a little weird, they don't tell their friends about me. I'm a ventriloquist for those that don't know. It's the same reaction from my parents. Um, <laughs> ah, sorry. If you don't know what a ventriloquist is, it means I play with dolls and talk to myself. After a few beers, I do it the other way around. I learned to do it... Are you guys slow or buffering? What's the deal here? Are we on the NBN here, are we? Just... I'm not going to do political humour tonight because I think that's just a bit wrong, especially with Mr Rabbit in the room. I, just... I don't do political jokes for one very good reason. Uh, they get elected. Anyway, I have... Um... I carry this case with me. It's got my, my, my dummy in it. And I hate him, quite frankly. Because it's always the same conversation. But I've grown up with this thing. 
When I first started doing ventriloquism, I didn't have a puppet. I used to have to practice with stuff around the house. I used to make stuff talk. Anything that moved, I'd make it talk. You know, the toaster would pop up out of the toaster. I'd make it say hello to my mum. I used to make my dad's bottle of beer say, G'day, Warren. <laughs> he thought that was great. Well, he thought it was real. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I, I'm, I probably shouldn't have done the ventriloquism at my grandmother's funeral. <laughs> Don't judge me. I was only 12. I didn't know any better. We're all standing at the gravesite. They're lowering her into the ground. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> all of a sudden... Let me out, let me out. Anyway. <laughs> Poppy wasn't the same for weeks after that. That was my granddad. We called him Poppy because <laughs> of his opium addiction. But anyway, that was a different story altogether. Anyway, so when I decided to get a puppet, uh, well, my grandfather bought me my first one. I'll never forget that. That was Christmas Day, 1974. He leaned across the table, handed me this brightly coloured box. I'll never forget what he said. He said, yeah. And... Um, I know you're out there, I can hear you breathing. Honestly, I, when I walked in, I thought, what a great place to rehearse. I, <laughs> I got this guy, especially for the ladies, because I figured most ladies are scared of the doll, the puppet, because they're usually ugly and rude and scary looking, but I decided to get a, a doll that was not only good looking and intelligent, but for the ladies, extremely sexy. Please give him a nice round of applause. This is my little buddy, Daryl. There we go. Come, um, you're right. Sit up here. It was funnier 30 kilos ago, but anyway, that's <laughs> beside the point. Say good evening to everyone. Hey? <laughs> Say good evening. Not yet. What do you mean, not yet? I'm checking them out. Checking the audience out. Yeah, well, you can do that, you know, on the sly. You don't mention it. No, no, no. Because they're an interesting group. Yes, it's an interesting, it's a very mixed group. Yes, yes. A lot of people here played golf today. Really? Yes, all right. You know, I, I, I heard Alan Jones on the radio the other day. Yeah. And he said... Statistics have shown that one in three people in Queensland are ugly. Really? Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Take a look at the person on your left. Now take a look at the person on your right. And if they look okay, <laughs> it's you. There he is. No, no, no. That's just, just apologise to the gentleman. Hmm? Tell him you're sorry. Oh, sorry you're ugly. No. <laughs> apologise properly. Sorry, sir. That's better. What we would like to do for you this evening uh, is a beautiful song. He's still looking at me. It doesn't matter. We <laughs> Which guy is it? The old guy down there. We don't say old. No, no. That's politically incorrect. Yeah, yes. Say something to make him feel welcome. Dingo. No, that's not appropriate. <laughs> Just, just don't mention the age thing. No, no, no sorry. <laughs> anyway, what we would like to do, she's a good sort. I, you don't say that either, eh? You don't call a lady a good sort. No, no, politically incorrect. Eh? Yes. Oh. <laughs> it's rude to stare. Well, I can't blink. <laughs> just... <laughs> Stop doing that. She's looking at me. It doesn't matter. Which lady are you talking to? I'm not fussy. No, which one? <laughs> Down the front. Down the front. Well, okay, that's, that's Kerry Ann. Hey? It's K 
Kerry Ann Kennelly, you don't. Don't do that. At least have the decency to talk to the lady. Really? Yes. Oh, ho. Hello. <laughs> well, ask her if she's enjoying the evening. Are you enjoying the evening, Carrie Ann? See, wonderful. She is, she is, she is. <laughs> well, come on. I've never gotten this far before. Okay, well, just. <laughs> Just ask her about herself. Yeah, yes. How old are you? No. <laughs> Yet, don't ask a lady her age. No, no. How much do you weigh? No. <laughs> Excuse me. Ever had sex in a suitcase? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I'm sorry. What the, <laughs> what the hell's gotten into you? Your right hand. No, I just mean... <laughs> you, you don't talk like that to a lady? No, no. That's politically incorrect. Yeah, yes. Honestly. You don't ask a lady all those personal questions. You, you don't speak dirty to them. No, no. That's sexual harassment. Really? Yes. How come when a lady talks dirty to me at six ninety nine a minute? That's a different thing altogether. <laughs> Enough. We would like to do... This beautiful song for you. I'm not doing this shit. Shut up, thank you. A beautiful song made famous. I don't want to do this. Will you shut up? I just, no, I don't care. We're doing the song, all right? Thank you. Beautiful song made famous by one of the, uh, the greatest singers uh, of all time. I don't want to do this. Will you shut up? Don't talk while I'm talking. You're not that fucking good. Okay. Or just. <laughs> if you could do that, you're still the, on the telly. Okay, we don't. <laughs> Don't want to talk about the television. Three years ago, he was on Australia's Got Talent. Shut up. And he lost. <laughs> Thanks. You should have gone on that other show you would have won. Other show? Yeah. Like X Factor? No, Embarrassing Bodies. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Sit in there. Rude, obnoxious. Sit down there. Quit touching me. Shut up. Honestly. Were you on Hey Dad? Shush. We're going to try this. Just ignore him. Ignore, if you're laughing at that, you should be ashamed of yourself. I've had a gut full of you. Oh, that's a lot. I'm going to have to do something different now. Entertainment? <laughs> if you're not careful, I'm going to put you where they put all the other dummies. Back pinch? No. Don't be rude. Sorry about that. Come to a nice dinner like this and just rude people. Um, oh, okay. We'll take a left turn. We'll try something different. Um, I know I'm going to need someone to help me with this. Uh, a gentleman, preferably male. No volunteers. I'll come down and find someone. I'll walk amongst you. Feel free to touch me. <laughs> who have we got here? What's your name, sir? Tony. Good memory. All right, who else? <laughs> who else? Oh, no, I'm going to steer clear of the marijuana section in the middle there. Thank you, boys. Yes, <laughs> honestly. It's, it's like the bachelorette gone bad over there. Just, uh, who else have we got here? Excellent. Just a little hint for the men. Just because you're not looking at me doesn't mean I can't see you. <laughs> Who's this gentleman right here? What's your name, sir? Ben. Ben. Oh, the two of us need look no more. Uh, what do you do for a living, Ben? Building manager. Building manager. Ooh, riveting. All right. Stand up for me, Ben. All right. Oh, you're a bit taller than I thought. All right, what's your name? Mick. Mick. All right. What do you do for a living, Mick? Uh, real estate. I'll go with the building manager. <laughs> Closer to human. Come this way. If you would, walk this way. Watch a little gap there. There's a bit of a gap there. Just mind the gap. Mind the gap. Come on, hurry up. Sort of sponsored walk. Over here. On the trap door. Excellent. All right. <laughs> so, it's uh, Mick. Ben. ben. Just making sure you remembered. All right, Ben. And uh, tell us about yourself. Building manager, where you're from? Surface Paradise. Oh, beautiful. Mm. 
Can you speak Surface Paradise? Sure. I can speak Surface Paradise. Mm, it's wonderful to be here. <laughs> anyway. The old Japanese movie thing, isn't it? <laughs> mm, quick, get out of the city. Here comes Godzilla. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Wish I was down there watching this. Face the front, Ben. Excellent. Are you married or happy or? Happily married. Yeah. Happily married. Weirdo. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got kids? Two. Beautiful. You, you know, kids are hereditary. <laughs> Yeah, if your parents didn't have any, there's a good chance you won't. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> Give the real estate guy another couple of minutes on that one. All right. <laughs> what we are going to do, I don't know why I'm sweating, I've already been paid. What we're going to do is, stop touching your ass. Face the front, not mine either. <laughs> you get dressed in the dark, honestly. What we would like to do, Ben, is have you be the star of the show. All right, it's very simple. Face the front for me. All right, what sort of um, buildings do you manage? Just like... Just a high rise and high ri A high rise and surface. <laughs> really? Is there one? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Face the front. I'll squeeze the back of your neck like that. Every time I squeeze, you open your mouth and close it again. It's all you've got to do. All right? If I squeeze anything else, you can do what you want. <laughs> fair is fair. All right. Are you ready, Ben? Yes. No, nice and wide. We'll try it again. Okay. Now, that was two, and I said nothing about the eyebrows. Just the mouth. Try it again, Ben. You ready? Yes! Oh, that was good. A little bit of a delay, like a Japanese movie, but we'll try it. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a break. We'll do it the easy way. Turn around and face the wall. Hey, he's heard that before. And we'll try. That's a night out in Cavill, you know, eh? <laughs> we'll use this. Hey, cool. This way, no one will know it was you. That goes over there. Under there, across there. Face this way for me, Ben. There we go. Over your, there. Under your nose. No, under your nose. Hold it under your nose. Run, Forrest. Under your nose. There we go. Bit of Velcro. It's not too tight. All right, let's fix that little bit of stuff up. There we go. I'll do the introduction. That's when you turn around. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, direct from your sell-out tour of the Tupperware circuit of Surfers Paradise. Please welcome the one and the only Ben. Turn around, Ben. There. <laughs> just up here for you, Ben. If you wouldn't mind, just stand. Stand right there. Right here. Right there is fine. We'll, <laughs> we'll give you your, <laughs> your very own microphone. That's for you. All righty. Sweet. Yeah, you don't need to turn it on. It's not real. Let's just hold it there. That's fine. That's fine. On the building manager. Good on you. Now we have what? It's probably a good idea to keep both of us on the screen as it's a ventriloquist act. <laughs> now, Ben, we have you up here for a special reason. I'm from surface. Yeah, we know. We have you up here. <laughs> Shush. You're enjoying this, aren't you? I don't get out much. All right. All right. We have you up here for a special reason. What is it? I'll tell you. <laughs> we want you to finish off. What are you pointing at? It's my boyfriend. Okay, okay. Right, that's <laughs> I thought you said you were married. It's legal. <laughs> it's all right then. It's fine. All we, need <laughs> all we need you to do is entertain this audience for a couple of minutes. Now, are you happy to do that? I tell you, just, just nod your head or shake your head to answer the questions. That way I'll know what you want to do, okay? Is that okay? Yeah. All right, there we go. <laughs> well, what can you do to entertain them? I don't know. All right, well, I'll put you on the spot here. Um, yeah. Yes. Um, oh, let me think. Uh, oh, can you dance? Yeah. No. All right, that's going <laughs> to... It's not a good idea that you talk behind there. <laughs> or just... <laughs> I'm a building manager. That's all right. <laughs> um, can, <laughs> can you can you sing? No. Make I can deny it. There we go. That's, that's a good. That took a moment. I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer. That's all right. 
the wheel is turning that the guinea pig is dead. No, it's fine. <laughs> You're doing a great job. I could be on the back bench. Doesn't matter. All right. Any <laughs> Any time you're ready, are you, are you ready to perform? Yes. All right then. So all these people are waiting for this. I'm going to sing a song. You're going to sing a song. Yeah. What song are you going to do? I've got no idea. Oh. What songs do you know? The same ones you do. All right. <laughs> Makes it easy. Think of any song. Any song. Or a singer. You got a favourite singer? Yeah, I like Elvis. <laughs> do you really? I do now. All right. Well, Elvis song would be great. Yeah. All right then. Yeah. Anytime you're ready. Get the Elvis song for the ladies. For the ladies. Yeah. All right. You like the ladies, I gather. No, I like the ladies, I gather. All right then. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you're ready, it's up to you. All right, I'll give it a go. All right then. I need the outfit. What? The outfit. What outfit? The Elvis outfit. Have you got it with you? No, it's in your box. <laughs> oh, thanks for pointing it out. <laughs> oh, that's what you need. There we go. All right, got the scarf. All ready to be Elvis. Anytime you're ready. I'll need the wig. The wig? Oh, sorry. <laughs> got the wig. There we go. That goes up there. Give it a sniff there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Chin up for us. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Anytime you're ready, it's up to you, Ben. I'm from Surface Paradise. Yeah, we know, but it's cool. Anytime you're ready. <clears throat> Are you okay? Just clearing your throat. Okay. <laughs> Take it away. <clears throat> love me tender, love me true, all our dreams fulfilled. That's very good. Shut up, sorry. Before my darling, I love you and I always will. Here comes a good bit. <laughs> They're clapping. It's just not finished yet. It doesn't matter. Nothing worse than premature adulation. All right. <laughs> what's, it, what's, what's the good bit? I'm going I'm to start dancing. It's up to you, I've only got a thing for your mouth. <laughs> Was that your dancing? <laughs> no, the building manager. All right then. <laughs> Just keep dancing. I love me tender, I love me true, all our dreams fulfilled. For my darling, I love you. <laughs> Don't mess with me, buddy. Here comes the big finish. <laughs> the big finish? Yeah. What's your big finish? I'm going to drop my pants and sing It's a Snow World After All. No, no, come on. Just finish the song. And I always will. Let's hear it for Ben. Big round of applause. Benny, we just picked you out of the crowd. You had certainly no idea that you were going to get up here. Um, and I didn't either. We just, I just picked you out. I knew you had a sense of humour from the tie. So I thought... I thought you were perfect, but you did, the, you did a perfect job. And for doing that, we have a small gift for you. Nothing much. Don't get too excited. It's just a $500 voucher for you to spend down there at Pacific Fair. What do you reckon about that? Oh, I don't want it. You keep it. <laughs> All right, I will. Give me a round of applause anyway. You're a good sport, mate. Thanks, Let's hear it for Ben all the way from Surface Paradise. What a good sport. Meh. Thank you, Ben, for doing that. Oh, excuse me. And excuse my suit, too. It's very ill-fitting and because I'm fat, it's very hard to buy clothes. 
I got this at Lowe's. <laughs> at Lowe's, at Lowe's, I'm a medium. <laughs> Thank you very much. I hope I haven't upset anyone tonight. So, hey, shh. Save it till the end, Dipper. I've got a week finish. <laughs> oh, take her home. She's ready. <laughs> Before I go, just a couple of things. First off, uh, thank you very much for inviting me here tonight, Wayne. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, if I've upset anyone, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I <laughs> couldn't give a rat. <laughs> Get over it. They're jokes. Um, also, I just want to point out And just say thank you very much. If you enjoyed me, I'm Darren Carr. If you didn't, I'm Donald Trump. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>